Hi everyone, welcome back to Hanson Never Done Farms. It is a beautifully humid Sunday afternoon, June 30th. It is the end of June, y'all. July is knocking on our door and I just can't believe the summer is, it has hit us full force out here in central Oklahoma. I'm sure many other states have experienced it. We are sitting at, it's actually one of our cooler days. We are sitting at 91 degrees, but 60% humidity. Humidity went up. We had a little bit of a rainstorm last night, gave us a half an inch, which we are not complaining about. Um, and then I think Tuesday, we actually got almost two inches. So very, 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 very thankful for that. But how are you guys? So, so very sorry for our absence. <sighs> I hurt my back, you guys. <laughs> I don't, I don't know any other way to put it. There's no hiding it. I, uh, I, I can't even tell you what I did. I woke up one day and my sciatica. I'm sure most of you have had issues like that. Uh, was hurting and powered through it, thought I could just walk it out, get over it, and by the end of the day, I would went into town, by the end of the day, my foot was hurting pretty good, and felt like I had been stepping on a stone, and my hand hurt. Weird. It's weird what the nerves will do to you, but uh, yeah, the next day, I couldn't put any weight on my foot, hardly at all. My hand was having a hard time. I was okay if I wore shoes, but I couldn't. I couldn't not wear shoes, but uh, I'm better. I'm over it. Here I am again. So, the great disruptor is here. I'm here. <laughs> so, I'm not the only one that has ever had back trouble, and I'm sure I'm not the last one. Jeff suffers from time to time with it as well, so. <clears throat> Looks like he's late. Um, that's him. What? Oh, no, that's her, huh? That's her. She's, she's hungry. Us. She's wanting her milk. She always does that. Had a little backlog of milk. Oh, get on over there. Oh, you're missing Hurry. out there, Lardo. Get you some. <laughs> My, uh, yeah, I uh, had a little bit of a backlog of milk. I haven't been able to do a whole lot with the milk I was getting, and so the uh, pigs have enjoyed milk a few times. I did make caramel the other day, and I do plan on hopefully getting some mozzarella made this next week. But we thought we would give you guys an update up here on the pasture. The pigs have <laughs> really expanded their wallow to accommodate nice. both of them. And thank goodness <clears throat> the rain that we have had uh, has helped keep it nice and full. <laughs> Is that good? Oh my goodness, they're going to fight over it. Don't get between those pigs and their milk. Let me tell you something. Yeah, she'll jump over the fence. Yeah, just about. I wasn't, I was thinking... When you looked at her full on, she looked just like him. Okay. She's put on a little bit more weight. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> They're enjoying the garden goodies. They're getting something almost every day. She, uh, she's gonna not mince words with him here. It's funny, they go through growth spurts. He's been so much more bulkier than her. And all of a sudden, she just took off. Yeah, she's getting pretty big. 
she's going to be a force to be reckoned with with him. I do not go in that pen unless I have them fully distracted. <laughs> yeah, well, you're a little bit more sure on your feet than I am. <clears throat> but they have really grown. What are you guys doing? You won't move this foot? Yeah, it looks like it. Uh -huh. <laughs> this has worked wonderfully. Their feed has stayed nice and dry. Woo, Jeff, they're overflowing. Yeah, they didn't drink that much water. It's been a lot cooler today. <clears throat> but what did we say? 150 pounds has lasted them 13 days. Yeah. Right at. <clears throat> that was, this will hold 150 pounds, and that's how long the first time we filled it lasted. So we'll see. Of course, that, that won't stay. What, what day is it now? When did we buy it? I bought it last Monday? Yeah. No. I'll have to look at my receipt. I have to keep track of it because here pretty soon it's going to be they're going to need it once a week. Oh, they already got quite a bit in there. Yeah, but they ate quite a bit of it in just a week. That's why you're getting so big, Missy. She's a big girl. I honestly he, thought that was him. Is he laying in it? Yes. <clears throat> I'm wondering how these uh, squash over here. She's like, come on, open this gate. Let me out. Yeah, she says, what's he doing? Are you hogging that whole bowl? <laughs> Are you stuck, Lardo? He says, this is my bowl. It still smells like milk. It's all mine. Wow. What are you doing? What are you doing? He doesn't want to give it up. <laughs> oh, what a big baby. I know, he's a big baby. Oh, oh there he goes. <laughs> we should call him Tippy Canoe. Because that's all it takes. Would you grab that pole out? Because that's all it takes. <sighs> yeah, taking this one. Yep. Wow, she outgrew him. Look at her. Okay, okay, all right. She got a lot bigger than he did. He's still wider. Yeah. But she is just taller now, almost. We got until October still. Mm-hmm, yeah. Okay, moving on. Pigs are doing well. You guys have gotten your update. They have just... Wow, I am still thinking October, October we're going to have 400 pound pigs. Probably. <laughs> uh, I, might, I might need to call Deshay and ask her what she thinks. Might have to get the tape out and measure. And you see. go measure them. Dog. Yeah, one like of these days she's gonna jump right over. Need to put another bar up and there. Tackle me, probably. Oh, hi, Miss Lily. I do need to do. I need to trim hooves this week. We are supposed to be hot again for the first 
three or four days and then we have another cool off coming. I think it starts Friday and so I'm going to try and get all my hoof trimming done on Friday and even though you guys have seen that before, we'll pop the camera up. <clears throat> Miss Jasmine, they are growing you guys. They're just growing. Doing a little bit better. They do equate me with feed now, so that's good. I have started using sunscreen on some of my girls that have light pigmentation um, at their back end. Um, you want to use a sunscreen that has zinc in it. But these girls are enjoying the pasture. Just loving it. Let them out as much as we can because their pasture is starting to die back. Need to go out with the mower one more time and knock down that milkweed. But uh, we got a couple inches of rain on Tuesday and it was like overnight our grass said okay I'll grow again. I mean, it had honestly started dying back, you guys. But the good thing about it is, <clears throat> as you can see, our water tank is almost full again. We are almost up. I think that's 300 gallons. So, super happy about that. We've got a blasted hot week. And then we have a cool down starting on Friday and rain coming in for the weekend. So we just got to get through the week. We can make it. Oh, let's do an update also on Roscoe is doing wonderfully. His treatment on the sulfa med came to an end and actually a few days before um, his treatment stopped he was back to normal but of course like with anything you do the whole treatment you don't stop it just because you notice an improvement you you finish it out and we did and he is back to his old self. Hi, brother. How are you? I know you are such a good boy. Oh, hi, Cash. You guys see how well Cash is doing. Case, of course. We're trying, we're trying to talk about Roscoe. He did lose a little bit of weight. And so, once these girls are done, We'll let the boys out for a little bit to graze. But Cash has regrown all of his hair, you guys. And what's awesome is there's no doubt where his moon spots are now. I can see where all my girls get their moon spots from their daddy and granddaddy. I am starting to work on a breeding, on our breeding plans for this year. You guys believe that that is right around the corner. Plan on starting uh, our breeding in end of September, 1st of October, like we did last time. I really liked how it all came together. So we're definitely going to repeat that there will be a few shakeups <clears throat> with who we're putting with who but that is coming up
Where is Miss Ellie? Come on, girls. Ellie is doing wonderfully, you guys. I um, am super, super pleased. She is dried off nicely. And um, I have been using a sunscreen on her back end. And some of those tags actually have come off and not regrown. So <clears throat> I'm going to leave it there. Not going to say anything other than I'm going to continue to use the sunscreen with the zinc in it. And if any of you have goats with the pale skin on the back end, might I suggest using a good sunscreen with zinc. I use it on all my girls that have the pale skin. Maisie's got, Trinity's got a little patch. She gets sunscreen. Maggie, of course, has a little patch. She gets sunscreen. And of course, these three girls are my Elena line, Aspen line. And so they are the ones that I will definitely be more careful with. But Annie also has a paler patch on her back end, so she gets sunscreen too. Skin pigmentation. That's the word I was looking for and was having a hard time finding. <laughs> if you have a doe with light skin pigmentation, guys, you want to protect it. And I apply, it's a 60. Uh, 60 proof for sensitive skin and just make sure it's got zinc in it and I apply it to Ellie every other day the younger girls um, theirs doesn't come off as quick as Ellie's does Ellie actually has obviously a bigger patch of lighter skin but some of these girls have a very dark pigmentation and you don't have to worry about sunscreen for them. So, just something to think about. If your doe has a light skin pigmentation and you're where the sun beats on them constantly, put a little sunscreen on them. I okay, let's see. Chickens are doing good. They have plenty of food. Jeff filled their feeder. They are just about ready to go over to the main flock. Just about. I think I'm going to get these guys ready for putting them up. Okay. Alfalfa is put out. Oh, let's get these girls. Come on, ladies. Bijou, you're always right there in front. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We are good. That's gonna do it. We can say goodbye to these lovelies until next time. Water is full. Let me make sure I turned it off, eh? Pretty sure I did. Yep. Almost 300 gallons. About 275 gallons there. That'll work. 
Jeff had to redo our oak trees are growing beautifully he had to replace the cage around this one because what he had was just some of this field fencing around it and uh, yeah some of the goaties could get to it it'll come back but better protection they can't get their heads through it hi everyone recently got caught up on caught up on the phone and I'm gonna come out here and show you a little bit on the garden out here uh, everything is looking really good of course the marigolds uh, they're doing good but uh, the um, grapes are doing really good I mean there's there's a bunch of them in here these are the ones that uh, I mean they're full there's a lot of them, a lot of them in here um, let's see what the inside looks like I mean they're thick there are tons in here look at that we're gonna have a lot of grapes bunches of them but anyway we got tomatoes are uh, coming off really well I mean there's uh, quite a few we've been getting already um, can't wait for sp uh, spaghetti sauce that's gonna be pretty nice but they're starting to turn and then the cucumbers uh, might have to come out here and pick some more gee whiz look at that There's quite a few out here. There's another one. That's pretty cool. Wow, there's a bunch. But the corn kind of got away on us. Uh, there's a lot of grass in there. Um, it's been kind of warm, but uh, the garden's doing really well, though. It's I got to get out here and do some more watering out here. But the beans, we've been picking a lot of beans out here, and last year we didn't get a whole lot of beans last year, but this year we got a lot this year. But the cucumbers, um, okra, 